and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to create this offset ink effect in Photoshop and we're gonna bring in some textures to the background, we're gonna skew our text and we're gonna um, make this little offset ink effect. And just a, a couple really easy steps. We're gonna be using the blue and the red that you see here but you can do basically any color you want. Here's a few that I put together. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to go File, New, and I'm going to make my document 10 by 6.5, just because it fits my texture a little better. Uh, keep a resolution at 300 dpi because I'm imagining this as something you would print, actually physically print out, um, and because of that it'll be CMYK. So I'm going to hit OK. And in this artboard I'm going to first begin by double clicking my background layer so I can color it, and over here I'm going to define this color as 65 for cyan, 15 for magenta, 10 for yellow, and 0 for black. Hit OK, and then I'm just going to go Command Delete on my Mac, or you can do Control Backspace on a PC, and that will just color it as long as you've got that color in this background um, color selected. Okay, after that, I'm just going to type out. Um, my little phrase. So I'm going to grab my text tool and I'm using this font called Evolith Slant and I will leave a link in the description of where you can pick that up. So I'm just going to type offset the ink. Alright, you can't see that right now so we'll change that. I'm just going to um, come over here to my color in my character palette and I'm just going to make this all white. You can see I need a space in there. Okay, so I'm going to make this much bigger. Command T to transform it, and I'm just going to make this nice and big. Okay, so that looks good. Now I'm going to um, Control T or Command T on a Mac, and then right click, and then I'm going to select Skew, and this gives us that slant effect. So just slant, whatever, whatever you like. Okay, now that I have this, I'm going to replicate this text layer. And you can either drag this layer down to this new icon, and that'll make a copy. Or what I usually do is I just hold Alt on my keyboard and drag it down, and that makes a copy too. So this bottom text layer, we're going to keep it white. The top text layer is the one that we're going to color. And that color is going to be magenta 80, 0 for cyan. 50 for yellow and 0 for black. I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to change the blend mode to linear burn. And now you'll see that it retains the color of the red on top of the white. So wherever the red's on top of the white, I still have the exact color that I defined for the text. But as soon as I start to move it off, you can see it mixing with the blue behind it, which is the whole offset. Uh, effect that's really cool these days. So, all right, so that looks good to me. You can just uh, move it around, nudge it around until you're happy. And now, uh, kind of the fun part for me is adding the texture to the background to kind of mimic the texture going on inside the type so it all looks like it goes together. So, I'm going to double click on my background color layer. I'm going to go to Pattern Overlay, and I'll leave a link of where you can pick up um, this gritty texture back here. So there's three of them in this set, and I kind of like the first one is the grittiest for me. And I can even increase this. Let's try 150 for a bigger effect. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to make the blend mode for this color burn. So it kind of fades into the background, but it's still a really nice texture back there. So if you like the subtle texture, then you're all, you're all done right now. But if I wanted to bring in more of a texture, I'm going to go into this grit file. Um, I'll leave a link for this as well. And you can kind of scroll through the different grit textures that are in here. And for this, I'm using this grit tube. And all I'm going to do is grab this layer and drag it into this and kind of position it where I like it. And I'm going to set this one to overlay, actually. That's what I want for that. All right. So you can even darken it up if I wanted to hold Alt on my keyboard and just drag it up. 
can make it darker if you wanted to kind of increase that texture back there. But other than that, that's it, a piece of cake, right? So if you like this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new tutorial almost every week, and thanks for watching.